come on up here and we're going to get started with you.
many people here love the Lord? Jesus, 
over every place that we have failed you, God. The blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for our families, God. We call them in right now, Lord, God. We call in the prodigals right now, God. I call to them right now that they come in and they would bow down at your feet and worship you, Lord. That they would worship you in spirit and in truth, God. We call them in, our fathers, our mothers. Some of you even have grandparents. Oh, Is there anybody here tonight that's not saved, that hasn't given your heart to the Lord? Anybody? Anybody need to make a fresh commitment to the Lord? Nobody? I don't usually do this. So I've got to be doing something, working on something here. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Y'all need to come up here because I'm getting ready to put my hands on them. I feel like the Lord told me just, just touch him and watch him move. In the name of Jesus. 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 In the name of the sweet name of Jesus, let your fire come, Lord. Let your fire come and touch and heal. Oh, Jesus. Yes, in the name of Jesus. There it is, there it is. There it is. It's a fresh point, a fresh fire, a fresh fire. You got people behind you in front of you. Fall back, it's okay. I'm not going to push it. Thank you, Lord. Just releasing that fire over you right now. In the name of Jesus. Pour on the ball shut up. You'll never be the same. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Loose him. I loose him right now. I loose his voice right now in the name of Jesus to speak your word, God. I loose his voice to go deeper, God. I, I, I loose his voice to prophesy. I loose his voice to preach. I loose, loose his voice to teach right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Uh, yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. To sing deeper than he's ever sung. Louder than he's ever sung, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. God is doing spiritual heart surgery on the man of God. Thank you, Lord. He's doing spiritual heart surgery on the man of God. Not that there was anything wicked in there, but there's been some hurt and pain in your life. And God is doing a, a clean work in there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Good the man of God. There's your fresh fire. There's your fresh fire. Fresh fire. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Touch her, God. Touch her. Heal her. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet, heal her, God. Heal her, Lord. Heal her. Thank you, Lord. There's healing. There it is. Right there it is. A healing anointing. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. There it is. It's dropping in. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mm. A deeper round in the spirit, to hear in the spirit. I break every attempt on the life right now to kill, steal, and destroy what the enemy has taken. And what he's trying to take in the future. I call it right now back into her hands in the name of Jesus. I call it back into her hands right now in the name of Jesus. You cannot steal, kill, or destroy anything in her life anymore in the name of Jesus. And I lose her. I lose her voice. Yes, she's a prophetess. <laughs> her head is right there. She's a prophetess. And I lose her voice to prophesy and to speak. Satan cannot bind your voice anymore. Jezebel cannot bind your voice anymore. It is loosed in the name of Jesus. It is loose. Yeah, there it is. Let right. it flow on out. Let it flow on out. There it is. Come on. There it is. There it is. <laughs> Come on. Let rivers of living water flow up out of your belly. There it is. Right there it is. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Yes, yes, yes. Release it. Release it. Yes, that's worship to the Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Come here, baby. What's your name? Melissa. Give a fresh touch from the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hold your hands up. Worship him. Unstoppable whales, God. Unstoppable whales. Unstoppable whales. There's a fire coming. There's a fire coming. I see it all around you. It's coming. It's cleaning up things in your life. 
that's been around you trying to pull you backwards, trying to hinder you. I see chains, taking chains off your feet. Shoo, hallelujah, glory to God. I just cut them off. In the name of Jesus, I cut them off. In the name of Jesus, no more hindrance to your walk. No more hindrance to your walk. No more hindrance to your walk. It's been trying to pull you back and tie you down and chain you up. And the Lord says, no more. No more. He said, don't go back to it. Don't go back to it. Don't let what they're whispering in your ear define who you are. Because I call you my daughter. I call you my child. I called you before I placed you in your mother's womb. I chose you before I placed And I have good plans for you. Plans not to harm you. Plans to do you good. I have good plans for you. And it hasn't been me that's caused the bad things that have happened. That's the enemy. That's the devil trying to steal, kill, and destroy from you. And enough is enough. And I'm drawing a line in the sand tonight over you, declares the Lord. Tonight there's a line being drawn in the sand over you, baby. And when they raise up their ugly head, you take the word of God and cut it off. Come on. Tons of fire upon her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're a prophetess to the nations, girl. Prophetess. And your nation starts right in your neighborhood. Right where you're at. Right in your own household. I hear the Lord say, turn around three times. Thank you, Lord. Oh, there it is. Right there it is. It's dropping in on me. You feel him, don't you? You feel his presence. Been a while. Unstop his her ears. Unstop her ears.
good word. No more lies. No more lies in this family. No more lies. Thank you, Lord. He said, don't be afraid. 
in the night when I come to visit, don't be afraid. You're getting ready to have a visitation face to face. <clears throat> My God, you already had one, but he said he's going to come again. He's going to come again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. He said, do not be afraid when I come to visit in the night. Thank you, Lord. He's going to come in the night because there's some things he wants to show you. There's some things he's going to show you and speak to you in the days ahead. Sure. Man. Oh, my God, you are a powerhouse. You are a fireball for Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Set this generation on fire. Thank you, Lord. Set it on fire, Lord. Set it on fire. Sure. Going to everywhere from Tanzania. I see Africa. I see so much on the globe where your influence is going to be very much like Heidi Baker and many other awesome women of God who've traveled the globe, who've had God's heart, and they just love people the way God loves people. Not with a human love that fails, but when you look at people, all you see is the little child. Just like when they were two and three and four years old, and you weep for them, no matter what sin it is they've done, no matter what they uh, are living like, you just see them as the beautiful little children, as though they are your very own children, because God can trust you with nations. He can trust you to pray for these people. Give God some praise for this. Come on. <laughs> Jesus is uh, John. You know, he, she carried John. She carried the prophet that, that warned everybody Jesus is coming. You're the prophetess that's going to warn everybody about Jesus coming. Okay. Oh. Thank you. What's your name, Eddie? Would you like? What you? Lauren. You're so beautiful. How old are you? Fifteen. Would you let me pray for you? You're beautiful. You get that all the time, don't you? Sometimes. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. God, I ask for a uh, hedge of protection around the Lord. You love the Lord? Yeah, with your whole heart, don't you? You like to worship. You're a real worshiper. Yeah, you worship when nobody's looking, nobody's around. You worship in your in your secret place, in your quiet time. You worship God, and He He loves that worship. He really loves that worship. You play an instrument. You like to sing. Have you thought about playing anything? Mm -hmm. Well, God's going to answer the desire of your heart. Okay, so you do what God tells you to do. You listen. To and obey him. No matter what anybody says around you, okay? Now you have to obey your parents, but once you get out of their house, you go do what God tells you to do, okay? And don't you let nobody pull you backwards, okay? Many people try to tug on you. They come to you and they tell you secrets. They tell you things. They call you a good friend, but you haven't found many that have been a good friend to you. You haven't found many people that you can trust. But God says you can trust in him. He's your best friend. He sticks closer to you than a brother. Okay? And he's getting ready to open your ears to hear more of the Spirit. You're even going to sing songs that have not been written yet. You're going to write them and sing to him. And then he's going to bring it before people so that they can know who you are in him. You receive that? He's going to edify you with your music, with your songs. So that he that I'm a and when you play it'll be prophetic, it'll be a prophetic worship to him. It'll be a sound coming directly from heaven that he's gonna open your ears to, that you'll be able to hear. And when you go to the keyboard or the guitar, I see you playing multiple instruments, it's not just gonna be one. When you go to play, you're gonna hear the sound from heaven. You'll just pick it up and you're gonna have a natural ability to play. You won't even have to take a lesson if you don't want to. Just trust Him. And that's what I hear the Spirit of God say. Read on prayer in your ears.
Go enjoy the Lord, okay? Go enjoy the Lord. He will be good to you. This will be a year of victory like you've never seen before. Then I'm telling you said it's a year of victory for you. The next six months are going to be so different than these past six months have been. And the change has just begun. You see that? Praise God. Amen. Amen. Give God some glory. Hallelujah. Give Him some praise. All right. Let me get the prayer. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I'm just obeying God tonight. We preach, we preach. If we don't, we don't. That's all right. Come on up here. I'm not out of fire yet. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Overcome every hindrance and every blockage right now in the name of Jesus. God is holding you in in the spirit. What you're seeing and what you're hearing let me just minister to you for a minute. What you're seeing and what you're hearing is really God. Don't doubt Him. Don't doubt Him because you're a seer in the Spirit and you're a feeler. You feel things. Okay? Sometimes you can feel a... It's like you walk into a room and it's like a wall is up. And you feel like you can't get past that wall. You can't get past that. And the Lord said, kick it down. You have the authority to do it. All you got to do, you know how she was up here worshiping, and last night she was up here doing that kung fu stuff like she was doing? Well, that's what you might have to do in the spirit. And I don't care what room, what setting you're in, you walk past it, get in the spirit, and, and worship God. You worship God like he's an audience of one. Okay? You do worship at home, by yourself with him. God says, come on out of your shell, because you might break someone out, else out of their shell to go minister to the Lord. Okay? No matter what they think about you. Most of the time they're not even looking at you anyway. They're so busy caught up with themselves worshiping. Is that your husband? Yeah, I thought so. I, I ministered to y'all last year, didn't I? Praise God. I love it when I see couples still together. You know, after a year, you never know what's going to happen with them. But I'm just going to pray fresh fire over you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. Right there it is. Right there it is. Ooh. Your forehead is hot. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. I see you teaching. I see you as a teacher. You have a gift for teaching. I don't, I don't know what kind of work you do. I don't know where you work at, but I see you teaching others. Thank you, Lord. And maybe that's one of your gifts in the spirit is teacher. Thank you, Lord. God, increase it. Increase it on her. Increase it on her. Increase the fire on her. Increase the fire. There it is. Right there. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> you feeling it? It's going through your body right now. Yeah. It's going through your body right now. There's some healing taking place in your body. Yeah, there it is. Right there it is. That's it. That's it. Thank you, Lord. Yeah, it's getting hot. Ain't it? <laughs> I feel the fire of God all over you. <laughs> it's getting hot because he's taking out some things and he's rearranging some things and he's fixing some things, but he's putting <laughs> Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the fire. Thank you for the fire. Thank you for your presence, God, for your holy presence. Yes, God. Yes. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, thank you, Lord. <laughs> Yeah, your hands are hot too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Lord, because there's healing in them. I hear the Lord saying there's healing in those hands. So you heal yourself when yourself gets out of whack and out of joint. He said as you touch yourself, yourself will get healed through the power of the Holy Spirit. And then you lay hands on others. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Keen discernment. Keen discernment. I speak keen discernment over her, God. Discernment. There's some people I, I see around you that in the spirit, they don't like what you're doing right now. They don't like that you're coming here to get um, refreshed in the spirit. They don't like that you're coming here to get more of God. They're actually talking about you because you're coming here. But the Lord says you just keep on coming. You keep on doing what he's telling you to do because he's going to show them that he is real through the power that he places inside of you so that you can operate in the spirit and the power of his might and show them 
and he's even going to put a word in your mouth that's going to be like fire shut up in your bones and you will not be able to do anything but speak that word forth. You hear me? So I bind all fear from you right now in the name of Jesus. I command fear to loose. Be loose. Fear, loose her. Loose her now. Fear, loose now in the name of Jesus. No fear. No fear. The Lord did not give you a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind, a stable mind. I thank you right now, Lord God. I thank you right now. You are a gift to the body of Christ. You are a gift to the body of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Man of God, since she's a gift, you have to keep her covered. You have to really keep her covered in prayer. In prayer. Okay? Your, your level of anointing in prayer as the head of the house is going to have to go up a couple of notches. Okay? The Lord says, come up hither. Come up higher. I'm going to show you some things. Because you two are going to work together. Yes, it's not just about her. He's take, he wants to take you into some deep waters. You receive that? Put your hands up. Put your hands up. you got men behind you to catch you. If you fall, just relax. Just relax and receive what God has for you. I'm not pushing you, but you might feel the fire come on you. You might feel like the Lord is gently swaying you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Let the fire come. Let the fire come. Let the fire come. Yes, God. Yes, God. In the name of Jesus, let the fire come. Let the fire yeah, er, being released right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. You're going to feel it coming down on you. It'll feel like thick, yeah, liquid love just coming down on you. It's just pouring down on you right now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I command every stubborn spirit that has him held back in the name of Jesus to loose him now in the name of Jesus. I command all the spirits that are hindering his walk to loose and be gone in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for opening his ears and opening his eyes and the spirit to see and hear deeper and clearer than he's ever heard and seen. I thank you right now, Father God. I thank you. You're a good worker. The Lord says you're a good worker. You're an excellent worker. Thank you, Lord. And I see a promotion coming. A promotion coming for you. Thank you, Lord. Not just in the spirit, but I see it in the natural. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Lord. But the Lord says, Behold, I do a new thing. It shall spring forward. Thank you, Lord. You're going to wake up in the middle of the night and not understand why you can't sleep. And the Lord said, If you if you holler at me, I'm going to use some slang here. He said, If you'll holler at me, he said, I'll show you things. I'll show you things. He said, If you'll open your word, he said, I'm going to show you some things. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Sure. Some things you've been praying about in secret, the Lord's going to openly reward you for those things. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Fresh fire. Fresh fire of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Heal his body. Any healing that he needs in his body, God. I just commanded all organs to be functional the way that you made them originally, God, the plans that you have for him in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. He says, you don't have to carry that burden. That burden's not yours to carry. He said, cast all your cares upon me. You know how you cast a fishing pole out in the river? He said, just cast all those cares upon me and let me care for them because I care for you. And he said, it'll make your, your load easier. It'll, it'll make it a little easier. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As Paula was praying for you, I began to see that oil pouring from heaven. And it is the love of God itself. I began to see it pour, to pour, and it kept pouring down your back, pouring down your spine, your back, your spine. That is the structure that holds your whole body up, that skeletal structure, your spine. And I saw God building one block upon another block upon another block, and that oil kept getting all in the joints. And there has been something that was uh, literally preventing some of the 
provision coming into you and your wife's life. And God says that now the oil is in the joints. Now the joints are oiled. That means that joint that supplies, but before they couldn't supply, there was nothing to take it from one place to another place. you got to have a conductor. you got to have a carrier for some of that stuff. But I'm saying the angels of provision have broken through. They are connecting every joint that supplies right now. Provision is coming to you. you have, you're a hard worker. You've been working hard. And at times you feel like you have been slaving. And with little result. But I'm telling you now, everything is coming together. It's like the dreams, the things that you've been praying for, the things that you've been earnestly seeking God on. This is just confirming everything that Paul has said. Said in a different way, but it's the exact same thing. All that you've asked God for, all, all of it is coming in. And it's coming in with a wave of vindication. A wave of vindication. I don't know who this man is. I see a man. It's like he put his mouth on you or something. I tell you now, the Lord, if he does not repent and put his head and his face to the ground, the Lord will wipe him out. And I don't like to say anything like that about a person because we want him to repent and that demonic structure be wiped out that he's in agreement with. But that individual put their mouth on you. And God's pouring in that liquid love. And while you're going to be distracted with this love and the provision and being that awesome provider that you are for your wife and your spouse children, come on, you won't even notice whether the man repents or not. At some point, the Lord will show you, but you're going to be so busy in love, there won't be any room for unforgiveness or hate. He wants to bring it around full circle and smack the enemy in the face. You hear me? That's that's what I see. It's, it's, it's almost like I see him taking his hand and going, just like this to the enemy. But he's got to bring he's got to bring some things around. Sometimes we make decisions and choices that bring us consequences that we have to face. God will walk you through it. He says you'll walk through the fire. You will not get burnt. You'll walk through the water and it will not overtake you. Okay? So some of the some of the things have happened because some of the decisions and the choices that you've made. But God still loves you. He's never stopped loving you. Okay? He's never stopped loving you. But he's allowing the correction and the alignment to take place to get you back on the track that he wants you on. That's why you need to stay on track. And there's some people that he wants to cut out of your life because you're a kind-hearted person. And sometimes you say yes too much. 
and not know enough so that you need to draw some strong memories too. Okay? is in you, that you are strong like Samson. And Delilah has to flee in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And I bind every Jezebel that tries to come into your life now in the name of Jesus and get you off track. Sure, my God. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I ask you to send him an Esther. I ask you to send him an Esther, Lord, that will pray for him and help him, his helpmate. Wrong mate. Wrong time has to go. Right mate and the right time. In Jesus' time. I thank you, Lord, right now for healing him. Thank you for healing him, God. Thank you for healing him. You got a court situation? You got a court situation. And the accuser of the brethren has had legal access to accuse you. God's going to work this thing out for your good. You're going to have favor in it. You're going to have favor in it. You hear me? It's, it's going to be totally unexpected how God's going to work this situation out. You're going to have favor. I just keep... Proverbs 21 and 1. My son was facing 37 years to life in prison. And God told me to take that scripture and declare it over the judge. No, 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 no. But, I, I, but you have to understand what I'm saying. There's a principle in the spirit that we have to use God's word. So it says, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord. Like many waters, he will turn it and make it go the way that it should go. So that's the scripture you need to stand on. For the court situation that you're dealing with. Okay? And this is for anybody in the room that's facing any kind of court issues. First of all, you agree with your adversary when he's taking you to court, which is the enemy of making all those accusations against you in the spirit. And you say, I, Father, repent for anything. And I agree that I've done some wrong in the past, whatever that wrong is. And then you say, Lord, I need you to vindicate me. Because I'm not that person anymore. I don't have that anymore. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm not guilty of that anymore. You see what I'm saying? And then you take that scripture and you say, Lord, take the heart of the king. Put it in your hand and turn it. And God's healing your body right now. That's what you're, you're feeling the fire of God inside of you right now because you need to be healed. Not just physically, but there's a lot of emotional wounds. You make me want to weep. Yes. Because I feel your pain. I feel it. 
that God loves you so much. He's going to restore when the canker worm came to eat. What the locust took, he wants to restore that. But you stay on track. You stay alive. Stay with this man of God. Okay? Let him help you grow. Don't run from God. No more. Don't be like Jonah in the belly of the whale, okay? Because there's a people that he wants you to reach. You've got to call a God on your life, man of God. You've got to call a God. Okay? He's not, he's not identifying me what it is right now. But he's telling me that he's calling you. And he's calling you out of the depths of hell to set you up in front of people so that you can help them come out. Because there's a people that you need to go back to after God heals you and fixes the things in your life. He's going to make the crooked path straight in your life. You receive that? There's been some crooked paths. It's like I saw you going upon your way and it was like this way and this way and this way. But God said you need to come straight and narrow now. It's time. How old are you, son? Yeah, it's time. You know the Israelites walked 40 years in the desert by themselves. Kept bumping up against God, but it's time for you. And I'm not embarrassing you. I'm just telling you God loves you so much. He calls you son. Many have rejected you. Even your own father. Even your own father rejected you. But God said, I don't reject you. He said, I love you. I placed you in your mama's womb. And I have a call. And I'm answering that call now. And I'm calling to you in the midnight hour. This is the midnight hour for you. You hear me? Midnight hour is the last hour. And he's calling you. And he said, if you'll come to me soon, I'll show you where a real man he is. I'll show you where a real father is. That man did not represent God. But he should have. But he had some issues in his own life of hurt and pain. And he didn't know how to represent God. Rusty, I need you to do something. As a father, I need you to put your arms around him and hug him like you would your own son. Sure. John the Baptist. No. As she, she was saying, it's as prophets we all know in part, as people of God we all know in part. And as you were saying that, I thought, I don't either and I looked in your face and I said oh and I knew the Lord said John the Baptist is part of one of the ministries that you are John the Baptist the part and the section that God showed me was you reaching people who have actually been in the criminal system associated with that people going in and out of jail systems come on um, none of us deserve the great and wonderful mercy of God none of us do but you are one crying in the wilderness Showing them the way is one of the things. As God is getting you in the right way, then he's going to be handing you that torch. Literally uh, aligning you with that, getting alone with him. And then you're going to be that voice crying out. And some will listen to you. And some of them won't. You won't be able to save them all. And that's okay. But God's going to cause you to love them like they're your very own little children. Crying. You're crying. You're giving the warning. It's like you're warning them. 